Well, thanks very much, um, everybody, for staying. Uh, and uh, also great thanks to the organizers for this invitation. Uh, it's been a great few days in, in Basel. Okay. So, regenerative dentistry, uh, at least as I define it, <coughs> is, is written here, which is using an understanding of biology to develop the next generation of clinical dental treatments. And <coughs> the three areas that I work on in my lab with my group are listed here. Dental, pulps, dental stem cells, stem cells from teeth, from the support tissues, and from the surrounding soft tissues. I'm not going to say anything about those today. Natural tooth repair, um, using an understanding of how, how teeth repair themselves to try and enhance that to create a new way to, re, uh, to repair a tooth, and I'll say something about that. But what I want to start with is the ultimate goal, I guess, of regenerative dentistry, and that is to develop a way to replace a whole tooth. The entire tooth, all its supporting structures, and alveolar bone at the same time. So a com complete new tooth unit, entirely derived from cells. And not surprisingly, this is a major task. It's, it's taking a long time and still got a long way to go. But what I wanted to do today was just to give you um, an idea of where we are at the moment and what there is left to do. What are the hurdles left before this can become a reality? So when we talk about making a bio-tooth, what we're actually making is something that, similar to what is shown on the right here, which is a very simple structure consisting of two types of cell, epithelial cells and mesenchymal cells, which are the equivalent of the earliest stages of tooth formation in the body.